Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Aquarius for love and relationship for the month of January It sounds like you know, there was someone very important in your life and you wanted really to establish or connect with this person on a higher level in a relationship. So it looks to me like you know, this relationship, it did not go very well as you wish or want. It might end it or is going to end. And it says here that you are walking away from this relationship, but you are mad and angry because it did not work out. Sometimes it doesn't work out for your own good. So don't really like to you know, get carried away and get angry. You were waiting for a certain time for this person like you know, to come forward and be with you in a commitment. And you find that this person like you know, that they don't want to be married. They walked away, they changed their direction and they don't want to really continue in this relationship. He or she, it sounds here like you know, that they don't want to be really progressing because it feels to them like you know, this is not... Uh, they they wasn't planning for it. They when they connect with you, they like you. They are attracted to you, but in the same time, they wasn't really in their mind like you know, really in a commitment because they told you that in the beginning or they hint on it. And some of you like you know sometimes they say like you know but they mentioned marriage. Sometimes people say I'm looking for marriage. I'm looking for a relationship, but not necessarily with the actual person in front of them. But sometimes. We had something to end, but possibly it's really good for you along the run. The, he or she is really very protective over you, and so you are. You are like no really like no protective over this person too. This person wants to keep in touch if you are not really waiting for that commitment. But to you, it's kind of like nevertheless, no, it didn't work out. I'm not really like no managing to connect. So it looks to me here that you walked away from someone very important to you last year and you connect with this person. Someone that you were living with, like you, know, you changed your direction on and you felt that there is a third party. This person thinks about you a lot and wants to come back to you. If you are willing to take this person, this person is going to stay with you. But without jumping into conclusions and actual like the situation, that person is coming back. Um, there are a lot of relationship coming your way also, but they tell you here, do not rush into really engaging in situations like, you know, as soon as you have a relationship like me, you don't have to be really rushing it. Rushing it always like to make people get scared or scared away. And like, you know, why this person want to marry me so badly? That's scary. Why they are rushing into this? Is there something they are afraid of? Like, you know, that will scare the person. And even if they have in their mind, like, you know, something serious, they stop, like, you know, stop right there. Um, it's really better to take your time and uh, let the other person decide also. What if you don't like them along the run? Anyway, I see, uh, you feel like, you know, that maybe you want to change your living, you, know, you want to change, like, you know, your career, uh, you want to find the balance in your life. Trust me, you're going to find that balance. You're going to find the actual relationship that will suit you. It's really coming your way. But always do not rush the relationship. Always. It's really best that way. And without jumping into conclusions that you hurt me, you did this to me, I don't want to get hurt. Uh, these are the signs of insecurities, you know. You don't want to really like to do that. Anyway. <coughs> This person that walked away, I get here this person like you really very much. And I get here they are maybe tight on their money. They need some money in their life. And I get here that they feel like you know, that you might really end up like you know, going to a new relationship and they don't want you to do that. Um, it's like 
this person is kind of like sneaky, you know. They they wasn't really someone on your side. The one walked away, and it looks to me here that um, um, they feel like you know, that maybe you have a responsibility. You have a child. You have someone like you know, that they don't want to deal with also, but that's not it only. Like you know, their intentions wasn't really very good here. You are shocked and surprised about these changes here. But it sounds here like that you are lucky no matter what happened here. This person will try to come back to you. You will see. But it looks to me that you will have a positive relationship if you let go of this one. Because this one is really like the weird. I don't know. It's up to you though. I get here this person is letting go but in the same time moody, you know. Even if you accept them back, they're going to come moody on you also in the same time. They look for their happiness, their pleasure, like, you no know, mostly, like, you know, without really actually um, understanding your feeling into the situation, which is not a good thing. That person seems to be like, you know, that they have been really maybe a father or a mother, like, you know, to other two other kids in the past and I get here they love the pleasure they love fulfillment they love love but it sounds here like you know, that maybe you had a fit you have a fight you have an argument you showed your like you know, really and pleasure your suspicions with that person uh, um, insecurities uh, emotions a lot of emotions that they could not really like you know, really continue with you so it's really best not to show like you know, your bad emotions to a person Unless they did you wrong or talked to you really badly, you can answer them back, yes. Be tough with that. But other than that, I get here that they believe they have been really fair to you, treated you really like you know, good, and they still want to see you. I get that. It's, you know, unbelievable about this person, like you know, that, oh, it's like done nothing bad. In the same time, I get here that they want to really work like you know, somewhere else. They want really to travel. They want, they are on the internet, they talk to people. I see you talking to other people too. You can attract a good relationship, like I said. So don't really rush and jump into really taking other relationships that hurt you before and you cannot really trust other, that person. But if you are willing, if you are in love with someone from your past, that person is coming back, you're going to be happy. If you do so, I wish like you know, that you don't really like you know, just keep accusing them like you did before because that pushed the other person away. Because acting like a victim is not going to make the person like you know, really love you more or feel sorry for you like you know that you need like you know, just really to be happy. Make yourself happy. You don't really have to be accept yourself, accept the reality who you are like you know trust yourself more. I see you like you're going to be really more confident. You're going to have really good relationships, but again, do not rush it. Um, in the same time, I get here, there is no need to be really verbal or be like, you know, really harmful, harmful to someone or throw butts and pans on them if they don't want to give you any commitment. Um, but you're going to really like to live more peacefully if you do. I see you traveling, traveling a lot like you know, this year, traveling to meet new people. Some of you are going to travel for business, work, um, uh, travel like you know, to study even somewhere like you know, that uh, you will uh, attend school. Um, a lot of people like you know, are going to be really traveling overseas because of their pleasure. They want to relocate. And I see, like, you know, a lot of really good things happening. Yeah? It's a good year. It's going to be a good year. And really be, like, you know, just don't overexhaust yourself. Thank you for watching, dear Aquarius. And I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please go to my website, mysticalaziza.com. My business link, which is my website, is really under this video in the description description box after you click on reading prices please purchase your reading then give me a call and thank you so much for watching happy new year bye bye